Hello, I'm back. I was just going to prop up these little flower bracts. So they're not leaves, they're bracts. B-R-A-C-T. And I took these off of the Super Bum yesterday, if you saw me with that video. And I was just propagating them and I thought, why don't I show this? So here I am. I'm going to soil propagate these. I have my little saucer. So this is just from a, a pot to catch the water, but I like to use these. I've got my root hormone that I'm gonna bop them in. And I've got my regular soil mix and of course my plants. So I'm just gonna put a little soil. This is my trusty old succulent mix. No chunkies. And I'm going to fill my dish. I could air prop them. Um, the only difference will be that they would go in this without any soil. I have a few of them I already removed here. And then I take my hormone and I bop them in. And then I tap them or blow. And then they've got hormone at the end. And if we want to get like super fancy, we can make like a little mandala or something. That would be fun. And these ones might not come out variegated. When I remove them from the bloom stalk, I just wiggle back and forth until they snap off and no further. And then I try and place them upright so that the, pu the pups usually grow out of the same direction that the leaf would face the sun. I'm happy to take any questions, but I feel like this is super easy. And then I won't water until um, there are roots. That's kind of my rule of thumb. No roots, no water. And once there are roots, I'll use my little squeeze bottle and I'll remove exactly, sorry, and then I'll uh, water exactly where the roots are. And that way they're not sitting in moisture and potentially growing fungi or rotting. And you would be surprised how successful these little tiny, tiny, tiny babies can be. So I'm gonna take everything and then at the end, I'm also gonna put the stem in the soil because sometimes the stem can produce little pups all on its own. In my experience, the variegation that the leaf has is the most likely outcome of the pup. It's not a guarantee but if there isn't variegation in the leaf, there won't be variegation in the pup. And then most unfortunately for this other one is if there is no chlorophyll, so if it's totally albino, which several of these are, then there is no way for that pup to not be albino and they can't survive. So probably most of these will die. <laughs> the pink ones, the, those are the albino ones. And then if they're gonna grow roots, they're probably gonna grow them within the first like two to four weeks, but they could come in later. There's a lot of factors that go into that kind of stuff. So, um, Basically, we keep them until they die. <laughs> That's how I like to do it. Hello, I'm well. Anytime I'm with my plants, I'm well. Ooh, I love that sound. It's very satisfying. And then, as I was saying yesterday, um, it's best to water your plant 48 hours in advance before you take any kind of propagation because that's going to make those leaves nice and fat 
It'll be easier to take off the stem, <laughs> leaves and bricks. Um, and they'll be easier to take off the stem and they are more likely to survive. And like I said, I don't think that these albino ones are gonna pop, but who knows? Sometimes there are non-variegated sections of the leaf that are inside of the leaf, so you can't even see them. So they can kind of surprise you. Hello, I'm just making little leaf props. And then for people who want to see what they look like when they rot, when they root, here are some little flower brack babies that I took probably, these are two or three months old now. And you can see that even these little, little, little leaves, bracts, gosh, I have to keep reminding myself, even they are making little pups and rooting. And once they have roots like this, I will water the soil in my environment almost every day. They really get thirsty. Um, and that's why I like this shallow container because they don't get super moist um, forever and ever. Usually it'll dry out within a day or so. And then these are already starting to get to the point where I can use the wrinkle method. You can see this one actually has little wrinkle marks on it from when it was very thirsty. Well, yeah, so that's, that's basically the program here. Does anyone have any questions? Do you guys do this at home yourself? Have you ever successfully propagated from a bloom stock before? Oh, this one broke. See, so that cannot pop. Ooh, but this is useful because you can see, look, this looks like an albino leaf, but there's chlorophyll inside. Isn't that interesting? So if I had not broken that critical part of the leaf, this part that connects to the stem, then this could have turned into a pup. So, you know, I like to say they sacrifice themselves for educational purposes. <laughs> and that was a good reminder that um, you have to keep that part intact. And that's why we very gently wiggle back and forth and remove. Well, that was a really exciting discovery. So I now wonder if these all are going to take. Wouldn't that be fun? Pretty simple stuff. Definitely give it a try on your own. That's why I like to let my bloom stalks get, this is really like the perfect size. It's almost like the size of a little pup, but none of the flowers have arrived on scene. The bracts are pretty decently big. And when you get it correctly, there will be kind of a snap sound. I don't think that's coming through, but. That one's really pretty. And like I said, I will also use the stems. There, did you hear that? And I go all the way to the end because, as I just showed you guys, they really can impress you with what they can do with very little. Okay. So that's my little bloom stock propagation info. These are the brand new ones. And then these ones are about two months old, two or three months old. And when they start to get proper pup size, then I'll switch them over into a small pot. Like this would be a great size pot to move into. 
And then if you're wondering about this guy, I'll just quickly explain that I beheaded what I thought was an albino pup from a different leaf prop. And then I was like, I'll just keep that just in case. And it started producing purple. So apparently it wants to live. Very cool. Very cool. I should do a separate video on um, what to do about albino pups that come from these props. But the short version of the story is you remove the albino pup and then the leaf will produce another another um, pup if you're lucky. I've had one leaf produce three different pups, first two albino, and now it has, um, well, like I said, that's another story. But anywho, these are the flower brack leaf props. I will save the stem. This guy is in the Amazon shop. Yeah, okay, we'll talk about that again, the albino pups. I'll, I'll make a separate video. Anyways, nice to see you guys. Have a wonderful Monday evening, and I'll talk to you again soon.